In this video, we'll examine some of the features of the Contact Manager project template. We begin by publishing the project. We select all files in project. We select to publish the web security data tables. And we also launch the index page after publish. If we go to the first page, we have two users in the system, John Doe and Jane Smith. Both have the same password, which is just the word password. We can also register a new user from this page by clicking on a link. This opens up a small dialog that security information can be listed. Notice there are no options on this page because all the options require a person to be logged in. As soon as we log in, we reload the complete page and it shows the options available for this particular user. There is also a logout link here which allows the user to log out. If we take a look at the first form, the contact list, this has a very small list of all the contacts. This has a single keyword search field at the very top. The search field uses icons instead of buttons. It also has a help section for it, so you can click on the help and get some information about a keyword search. Notice it says here when you tab out of the search field, the search runs automatically. This particular keyword search searches on first name, last name, and company. We're using a scrolling grid here so we can locate more records than will show on the screen and then scroll up and down to see all the records. This particular form, like all the forms in this project, are filtered on the current user. So only the cur current user will only see records that have been entered by them. We also have an option to export to Excel and we also have help for the complete form. We will search for someone here by the name of John. We tab out of the field, we immediately find the records. To look at detail, we can double click on any row. This opens up a detail view. In this particular detail view, there's some interesting features. One, we have a picture on here. If we click on the picture, we open up a larger version of it. We can remove the picture with a warning. We can also then add another new picture with an image upload component. We click to upload the image. We can select a picture from available pictures do the upload and accept the new image. The phone number fields all have masks on so they enter properly. Again we have context sensitive help available for this particular form. If we look at the phone book form, it's very similar. Again, difference here is we have an image already on this particular page which also opens up to a full view. We show all the phone number information. Again, there is a keyword search, in this case, search by last and first name. Again, there's an Excel export, and we're also, again, using a scrolling uh, page on this. Notice we can start with eight contacts, or we can load all 20, and then we can scroll through the complete list. If we double-click and open up the detail, it is the same as the other views. Again, we can also open up the image from this particular view, and we have all the other information that was available in the other detail views. If we look at the address book, this is a slightly different construction. This is actually a grid with a detail view and another linked grid. What appears to be a menu on the left is actually a grid component with just a single field for the person's name. Again, there is a keyword search, which uses first name or last name. Entering a value in here and tabbing out will cause the search to run immediately. In this case, if we single click on a row, we open up the detail view, such as this particular record here, or we can go back to the original view. Again, we can open up a full-size image. In this case, if we want to edit this record, we have a separate grid that opens with the details. This will allow us to, again, do all the other editing we did on previous detail views by adding a new picture, adding information about this person. We can also enter a new contact from this view. This opens up actually a dialog with a similar data as the grid view. We have a small linked grid at the bottom for adding comments. If we click on a date, it opens up detail about that date. If we go to the register users, this will vary depending on the user's security. We'll either get their particular security record or all the users. This particular person's an administrator, so they get all the users. They can click on the security to edit the security and make any changes they wish to make as far as passwords or their security roles. When they are done with the project, then go back to the welcome page. When they log out, this actually reloads the complete page, so we now start where we began. 